Yes, we have to do the English okay. because the people in the America they like the English. Yes, that is very right. <laughs> so we need to talk English now with a very German accent, right? We could also just drop the German accent and try to speak American English, which good. of course I cannot. Can well, you do that? I, I sort of can. People always ask me, like, your English is so good. But yeah, no, they, they I don't just, know. No, they just want to be nice. Oh, they just want to be nice? Yeah, oh, yeah, fuck yeah. them. It sucks, no, actually. It's, no, I, I don't know. It's like 90% of my friends are uh, in the US. I have a very good friend in, in New York. I talk to every day. So literally, if it's not teaching in my music school with little kids, I spend my day 99% talking English. Anyway, yeah, me too. So. My girlfriend's uh, half American. Oh, nice. Uh, lo lo lower half, not upper half. Okay, okay, and good. And this is such a lame job. I mean, it's so <laughs> um, and in the videos, to you guys, I speak English. So, and with the dogs, I speak English. Okay, good. With the cats, I speak German. You cannot... It's a German cat? I don't know. Anyway, uh, what was <laughs> um, uh, this is Jen. Of course, you know that because you're watching the video because of her, not because of me. But you and should know that guy. He's awesome. Um, blush. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, you play in a really, really awesome band that totally blew me away when it hit the market in 2003. I think that was the big. Yeah, that was like the, the big thing with really an album that I had one issue with. Too short. Is it, oh, that's sweet. That's a sweet issue. That, that album was brilliant from beginning to end, but every song was three and a half minutes. Yeah. And it just, some songs would have really benefited from, you know, give me the three, four singles, that's good, but then give me a longer intro. Not everything needs to be the single. That album was brilliant. And then something happened. Thanks a lot for the information, but I can't take credit for that because yeah. I'm in the I'm band just saying, but the thing is, but <laughs> I don't know anything other than that about the band. I don't know what happened in the time between. Oh, really? Nothing. So, what happened? How did you get there? How did I get the gig? Yeah. Um, I was stuck with another band um, playing on two festivals. It was uh, Out and Loud Festival in South of Germany and Metal Fest in Czech Republic. And it was huge festivals with a lot of bands and the testament had been there on the building too and i got to speak and hang a lot with alex Golnick. who is and the nicest freaking guy ever yes he is he sucks at board games but okay <laughs> he's absolutely he's one of my sweetheart friends and uh he was asked if he has any recommendation uh when terry balsamo left the band and uh yeah that's when he forwarded my name so i uh received an email um, at the end of July 2015 um, saying hi my name is I am the manager of we would kindly ask you if you would like to answer yes <laughs> I didn't even finish reading well, the email well, so duh. <laughs> it's like a no-brainer like no sure. no I've, 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 I really have better things to do I got to conjugate verbs I got to do laundry <laughs> no no I, I can't brain evidence really I can't that's uh nah so it was absolutely <laughs> like a no-brainer and I think it took Amy and the guys like four days to uh, fly me into New York. Then I uh, spent three beautiful days with Amy. Um, we've just been talking, hanging around together, uh, eating, partying, everything, just getting to know each other on a human relationship base because I'm in the business for quite some years and there's one thing you do not want to have in a band. It's an asshole. <laughs> So, and there usually is one or two. Exactly, more right? There, there is always, always this one guy. So she, of course, took a lot of time to, to get to know me. And we very, very, very fast realized that... You are an asshole. Exactly. <laughs> you really an that, asshole. Yes. That's why I got the gig. Yes. I mean, you have to have one asshole in the band, and that was your job, right? To be honest, yeah. we do not have that one person in the band. Really? We really are friends, we really get along perfect together, we spend time together on our day offs. 
Um, I mean, even Will is here because I was like, okay, if I'm playing here, I want some of my US family to be here. So now it's Will Hunt from Evanescence mm -hmm. playing in Frankfurt. That's kind of like awesome, and I totally you, you, enjoy hanging with family's here. Yes. But so in the band, I mean, I know when you have a new player coming in, it can be like a, this is a hired gun situation. Are you the guitar player or are you in the band and you're involved in everything the band does, including writing, recording and everything? I mean, Amy is the boss of the band. And sure. uh, she's, um, she's a very, very professional, like one of the most, she's one of the hardest working people that I know. And she always tries to make us be part of her decisions a little bit. and in the writing as well and of course it's not like oh here's your plane ticket fly to wherever play a show and then piss off it's not like that okay so it's really it's, it's a family because I'm, I'm friends with Felix yeah. you know Felix has, has quite a good gig in this uh, newcomer band called Bon Jovi yes uh, they're, they're getting quite big <laughs> yeah and, I've uh, heard of them once yeah yeah <laughs> some nice songs and um uh, now on the new album, it's the first time that he's actually on the band pictures because it took a long time for, for, for John Bon Jovi to let new people into the band and actually say they're in the band now. I think the bass player has been in the band for 10 years, but he's never actually been never on pictures. On the picture. yeah. I don't know, Bon Jovi have been weird about this ever since Alec John Such left. Um, but oh, so you know the band? <laughs> <laughs> I am, to be honest, come on, I'm a girl. So when, at the age of six, seven, the first bands I listened to was Bon Jovi. It's good stuff. Come it on. was uh, in the eighties. It's not so much anymore. It's not my cup of tea anymore. The longer, new so. album doesn't. It's it's. Phil it's, Phil is though an amazing guitar player. He and really is. Really sweet guy, and I'm really happy. A, for a him. little bit cuckoo in the head. I'm sorry, Phil, but you are messed up. I messed up, but you messed up a dirt. Aren't we all a little bit cuckoo? Yeah. Ah! You just wheeled in here on the scooter, of course you could go. Yeah. <laughs> so, I know that that's that's a killer gig. It, I don't know anything about albums. Are there new albums? Is there a new album? What, what's going on? What, what's the latest album? Uh, bon Jovi or Evanescence? Uh, yeah, Evanescence. Oh, Talk Evanescence. Bon Jovi. <laughs> oh, let's talk about Evanescence, come on. Um, we're working on stuff, but I'm not the one to reveal any uh, news about the new album, which we're working on right now. Okay. So Is David Guetta involved? No. <laughs> like, what? I don't know. No. I'm just trying to, you know, derail you here. <laughs> no, Amy, I think Amy will uh, put out the news pretty soon. Um, right now we're focusing on the tour in South America, which will be starting in like a week or, so, or two weeks, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever so, you have to go to the airport, you will know. Exactly, exactly. So that's our main focus right now. And preparing for the European tour afterwards. And then we'll see what comes up in fall. It might be good news. <laughs> might be, might not be. We can't say anything. Oh, it will be, for sure. Oh, of course. But, but I can't reveal anything no, about we, it yet. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Okay, uh, easy question. You're playing Ibanez. Yes. Why? Good question. Well, why? Why are <laughs> oh, you playing Oh, that's the second that? question now. <laughs> You're playing Ibanez, yes. Thank yes, you. That thank was, you. <laughs> that, that's all we have to say on the subject of Ibanez. Yes, she plays them. Okay, um, my very first guitar that I bought when I was a tiny little young kid was an Ibanez S470. My first guitar, Ibanez as well, second guitar, oh, Ibanez, that's, third that's guitar, That's how we get along so good, right? It's, it's yeah. joining the family once, you never leave. Um, but I left for a couple of years, I played Yamaha guitars. And long time before uh, Evanescence hit my life, um, I felt the need to get back to, to my roots. Like back to the, to the equipment that I by heart uh, um, choose to be my chosen equipment. Mm -hmm. So I went back to the Ibanez guys and was like, guys, are you kind of, and they were like, yes, no brainer. <laughs> they got the same email you got. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Except the difference was, it was, hi, my name is Jen, not hi, my name is Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, same email, same reaction. Yes. And, and you're playing Engel. Yes, I'm playing Engel. Absence. My first the two band was an Engel. Oh, we're getting along. We got to be best did friends we shop, then. Did we shop at the same? Probably. Shop probably, yeah. Damn. Um, so, uh, what kind of Ibanez do you play? Ibanez or Angle? Okay, well, Ibanez. I play a lot. So, my Ibanez stack is uh, I play baritones. I have three baritones. I have uh, a universe, a white seven string universe, and two of the FR uppercut series okay. with bare knuckles. And I've, I've seen them, yeah. They're, they're cool. They're, they're cool like guitars. black, black, and then even more black. Yes, it's blacker than they black. Are, they are for this kind of stuff. I, I would love to do. <laughs> I, I can, therefore, 
the, you know, the mmm -hmm stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I was, I mean, at home I have a lot of RG models. Uh, the RG Premium and the RG, well, mostly the RG Prestige models. And I like to travel with one guitar with, when we're touring. So most of the times I take my uh, Blue Floor Platinum Jam with me. I Classic. love. Like an original one or a remake? No, it's a remake. It's the newest version. Okay, but from the Premium line. Yes. Okay. It's a Premium line, which means it's an affordable guitar. It's not even that expensive. But for me, it's the guitar that I've been looking for ever since I was born. Because every pickup sounds exactly like it needs to sound. The neck is perfection. It's a premium, but yeah, no, no. Let, let's be honest for a while. The camera's off. You're really playing a premium. Yes. This is not one they built for you and wrote premium on it. It's a prototype, though. But still a premium prototype. <laughs> okay, prototype is still. And plus, okay, I'm at I, uh, Well, my my LA guys gave me a white RG model for the last room because Amy came up with that idea. We should do one song, everybody playing white instruments. Mm -hmm. And we thought it was red, it was so cool. So I asked uh, my LA Ibanez guys, could you give me a white guitar? And it's a standard RG model. I love that guitar. It's, it has awesome sound and I played it. We did a cover of uh, Michael Jackson, Dirty Diana, mm -hmm. with some trading solos between Tro Troy and me. And it was, I love that guitar. I mean, it's never out of tune. I literally can hold it on the whammy bar and keep walking over the stage like this. It's not out of tune. I just love it. It's perfect. The Ibanez Floyd, whatever the edge travel yes. noise. It is. It is a great system. Yes. Absolutely. Now, again, between us, at home, you don't just have Ibanez. You play Ibanez. You love Ibanez, but you have an S type kind of from someone else you, sitting you around. Really, like you really want to know the honest answer? Yes, please. I only have Ibanez guitars <laughs> and two Ibanez basses. Really? Yeah, and not with the acoustic. I have acoustic guitars, like classical guitars, because I teach classical guitar as well. So I have uh, one handmade Spanish maestro guitar and um, a semi-acoustic kind of thing from Yamaha still left. But all the other guitars are Ibanez. I don't. I don't need. I'm not That's one of those big collectors, you know, I don't have like oh, 30 no, me, guitars. Me neither, me, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, don't, don't, no, no, really don't me neither, no. I says. have like two or three <laughs> inexpensive <laughs> honey that is, No, that's it. No, but honestly, I, I, come on, I just have two hands. What for do I need 200 guitars? I mean, Jeff Waters, he's like, we talked about this, and he's like crazy, he's like, I don't know, a huge amount of guitars, but I just have two hands, so. Well, if you, know, if you play in a specific style, and you have a specific look, and you have a great relationship with the company, work with that company. For me, I of course, you know, I review guitars. Yeah. I can't only play one brand, that's totally stupid. That wouldn't work out It's, with it's very different, so I'll play whatever I get in my hands, and some some stay, and that's it. It's, it's very different. But also, as a producer, and not guy for hire to play guitar, I like the variety. If I want a T-style sound, you don't necessarily get that vintage T-style sound out of a uh, Talman, which is a great guitar. I yes. reviewed it. The Prestige Talman is a great T-style guitar, yeah. but it's a modernized version. Right. So I have an LSL for that, for example, but very different. But you know what I do when I'm looking for a specific sound? I modify my guitars. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. I, 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 I would suck at that. I can't um, solder. I can't no, no, do anything. No, no. I have a guy. Uh, his name is Ed Heisler. He's living in Phoenix. You should check that out and do a review about his stuff because it's awesome. Um, he's doing, it's, it's called Mad Hatcher Guitar Products and he rewires the uh, pickups. Okay. So uh, whenever I want to with my Blue Jam, I can add mid frequencies and make the neck pickups sound more stratty and okay. you know, I can just, let's keep it that way, it's the easiest way to explain. My five switch is now a 10 switch. Okay. So what I do is I modify my guitars if I'm looking for something specific and Ed really did a great job. That's okay, I need to check that guy out. Yep, I'll give you the contact. What angle do you play? I play Angle Powerball 2. Okay. Started out when I played back in the days in my ACDC tribute band with Fireball because it's an easy rock and roll amp yeah. and it's perfect for ACDC and it's just very cool. I was never ever um, a big fan of the Big M company. Me neither. I don't like their sound. <laughs> anyway, um, so I played the Fireball back in the days and by getting older, your demands on the variety of sounds is getting a little bit bigger. So uh, I choose to play the Powerball too. 
um, four channel. I love the clean channel. It's very mm -hmm. direct, very very bright, very crystal like in the sound. It's very cool. The crunch channel is awesome. Mostly I play in the third channel, um, and for solo the lead channel, the fourth one. And I'm very happy. I'm happy with Angle. I'm happy with my amp. I have it in the white edition. Ooh. Have you seen it in white no. edition? The leather is white, and the tubes are not red. They're blue. It looks like so fucking cool. Are they illuminated blue? Like, yes. Okay. Everything is like blue and white. It's so. I have insane. not seen that. Engel is a very dark company usually. But, yeah, but hey, have you have you seen the latest uh, uh, Inferno Marty Friedman? Amp? Oh, that looks so. Come on, we've cool. got red now. That looks very cool. Yeah, right. And also the cool thing about Engel, and for me that's also a very very big thing. They're fucking nice guys. Yes. Okay. I mean, just like you can work with the company, and they they might make good amps, but. The people from the company are just not assholes. Mesa boogie. I don't know what. No, no, no. I don't know what. What? Uh, um, oh, that slipped out. I'm sorry. That slipped out. I'm sorry. Um, but I mean, Martin and, and all the guys from Angle, they're just really normal, super but that's, nice guys. You know, that's the thing, though. It's the same thing like being in a band. It's the same thing with the companies. I try to gather companies, people, friends, whatever, um, around me who are positive, good people. I don't want to work with assholes, so... Why you know. are you sitting with me here then? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> bad choice, Jen, bad choice! Okay, uh, thanks for talking to me on the stairs. Absolutely! We enjoyed the stairs, hope you did too. <laughs> and um, you go away now and... Uh, Bye! We'll, we'll, <laughs> and we'll wait for something from Evanescence whenever. Whenever, this at, fall. At an undisclosed date. I think it's this fall. It's going to happen. People, and get there, ready. And there will be more Ibanez stuff on my channel. I really like some of the premium stuff nice. they have here. Uh, they look super sexy with 11-piece neck and Buckeye pearl tops and stuff. Whether they sound good, now he's talking. we don't know that yet. But... They do. We don't know that they yet. They do. They we always do. We don't know that yet. <laughs> okay? I'm saying we don't. Let... Wait. Maybe I know it. The album, you might have played them. But then again, you're an endorser and I'm not, not going to trust shit that you say, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. This, that's just, you're not an unbiased kind of party here. <laughs> okay. Oh, it was definitely nice talking to you. Yeah, Absolutely. same here. Uh, go go, go away now, guys. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye. <laughs>